Hey guys, a really quick video here. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use Jodin or Odin on your Mac um, to install SuperUser on your phone. And then obviously from there you can then flash new ROMs and everything. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this new video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to install Heimdall for your Mac and you want to install Jodin. Both of the links will be in the description. I will leave you a link to um, a discussion on a forum how to install Heimdall if you've got OS X L Capitan. You then need to install those as you would on the any device. Uh, make, make sure you go into settings under security and allow from um, unidentified developers. So once you've allowed this to install, you then need to go into Heimdall, put your phone into download mode by holding volume down, home and the power button. You'll then get um, a green screen telling you to continue, follow the instructions and continue. You then want to go into Heimdall, go under utilities and select um, detect, then it'll tell you device detected. You then want to get the PIP file, so you click save as, save um, the PIP file for your phone, um, in my case the GTI9100, so just label the file and choose where you want to save it. Um, it will then told you uh, where it's going to save the PIP file, you then press download and it downloads a PIT file from your phone. Um, I suggest you do this for uh, your phone. Don't try and get a PIT file off the internet because it won't work. Um, so once you've got your PIT file, you can then uh, proceed to using Jodin. So here I'm just showing you where the PIT file, I can open the PIT file. So you now, now need to go onto Jodin, access your PIT file, um, and once you've got your PIT file, click open, and then go under PDA. So here you need to access the file that we will be flashing. So in this case we are flashing clockwork mod KitKat compatible. Uh, this needs to be a .tar file. Um, I will have a link to this one in the description but this is for the GTI9100. You need to look for the file for your uh, model number and you can only flash that one. So here you can see it's flashing, it says it's running um, and this is just a view of what the phone looks like. So we've now got progress bar um, and it says ending session uh, it's completed so if it comes up with pass you're good to go you can now remove the device from the USB um, and proceed from there so what we've done is we've uh, flashed recovery mode now we want to power our phone into the recovery mode that we've just flashed okay so we hold down the power button volume up and the home button so that little triangle there means you are rooted. Now there are ways of getting rid of it, but currently I haven't got a video on our channel of how to do that. So be patient, um, and it should boot us into recovery. Okay, so now we are in recovery mode. Okay, so now we want to go into install zip. Okay, so we want to head into our SD card where we save the folders that um, are in the uh, link. So you want to then install the Clockwork Mod Super SU. So you want to click that and flash that. So that will then allow us to flash the super user. Okay, so now we have root permissions. Um, then what you want to do from there is you want to factory reset, and uh, from there you want to go in, and your phone will then have root access. <laughs> And from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash a new ROM. So I'm going to go into Downloads and I'm going to flash the i9100 Neat ROM. So this is a TouchWiz ROM, um, so I'm going to flash that one now. And yes, um, I'm going to let this play out and then I'll be back to you then. Um, if you want the link for this, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, this is not a particularly detailed video on how to get this ROM, but this is the setup process at the moment. So you get some very strange thing uh, for way of installing it. Uh, terms and conditions, yes, we agree. Choose kernel, yes. Stop kernel. Not sure what that means. Um, S5 stack toggles. Next. Those are the sorts of toggles we will have. Uh, connection. Next. Boot animation. Yep. Next. Doesn't really matter about the boot animation. That's the boot animation we've chosen. Um, <coughs> choose the ROM. So we want the light ROM. So you can choose whether you want with bloatware or no bloatware whatsoever. I'm just going to choose extra light ROM. Go to press next. Choose the app we want to install. So Gmail. Yeah, I'm going to press next. 
Okay, so that's all the apps I want to install, so I'm just going to press next. That's all I want. Next. Okay, the wizard is ready to begin installation. Press install now to begin. So now what it's going to do is it's going to go in and it's going to install the ROM on the phone with all the files that I've chosen to install. Okay, so while this is installing, just going to give you some background on what we've just done. So the um, software we've used on the Mac is called Jodin. Now you can get it on PC, it's called Odin, and there are videos all over the internet on how to use it, but there are not many videos on how to use Jodin, so I wanted to give you a really quick video on how to use it. Um, I'm only just beginning to learn myself, so if you have any problems, ask me, I can try and help, um, uh, but I don't know an awful lot about it yet, so I don't want to do a massive video on it, um, but when I do learn some more, I hopefully will have some videos coming out in the future. So I'm just going to let this play out, um, and then come back to you when it's done. If it enjoy, please reboot, so I'm going to press next. And now it asks for a small donation, so we, uh, you can do that if you like. Um, so you reboot your device now. Finished. So congratulations, it should install. So now it's going to reboot the phone. So again, we know we're still rooted, which is good news. Here we go, this is our boot animation. So it's quite low, it's quite cool actually. Um, and you can go back and obviously you can choose different boot animations. I probably should have had a look at all the different ones, but I just chose this one. Not particularly fast, I can change that in the future if I've still got rate permissions. Okay, so when we turn it on, this is what we are greeted with. Um, so it is running 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, and this is the TouchWiz ROM that we have. Um, so you can see a very nice, smooth experience um, and all the TouchWiz look. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've installed some, ro some uh, apps as well, but uh, not a lot of bloatware obviously because it's really light ROM um, and if we go into our quick settings you can see we have the Galaxy S5 style so that all looks very nice then if we head into settings you can see it's all touch with as well um, and then we come down here get onto about device we are running Android 4.1.2 that guys is really quickly how to install this um, and get your phone updated onto the newest uh, firmware. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please comment. Um, all the links for this will be just below that like button down there in the description. So do head over, have a look at those and install those. If you have any questions, do ask us. Um, so as always guys, live long and prosper.